this thing that gets tight. I'll probably it's my turn this time. Yeah. I've been making bail. <laughs> he can take bail for me next time. Yeah, I'm a Mexican, but I still have to make it. So, uh, do you ever miss London? No, I didn't like London because no one is your friend. Okay, see you later. I remember when I was warning about the Little West End. I used to think, what a thing it is, we never look at it. We never smile at it. It could all be one long party. And here it is one long party. Well, yes, New York is a little special, though. Uh, but, you know, it, it does make a difference for you and for me, because when I was over there, what I noticed was that, uh, that unlike all of my friends who are English, or in some cases Irish, uh, they were trapped in their social level. I wasn't. I, I, oops, I met everyone I wanted to, practically. Uh, Everybody. Yes, there is that, because people are always saying to me, you must have met Cyril Connolly. And I say I could have stood elbow to elbow in a pub with Cyril Connolly, he would never have spoken. Yes. Because he was a university man. And I was of low degree, and um, no one ever spoke to me. I wrote a novel while I was there, and I based a part of it on someone who was reaching great notoriety at the time. She was the Duchess of Argyle, and you'll remember Oh, her. yes. And I met someone who happened to work for her, and he said, well, she'd meet you. So I did meet with her uh, once. She showed me a flat, and uh, we had a whole afternoon together. And it was enormous fun, especially since I feel I've written a, this uh, book. I thought it would be kind of nice to meet the woman who went with it. Yes, I remember that. I was scared. What was scared about? Well, uh, a little bit more than you actually sort of heard so much about. She got divorced from her husband, and he was rather nasty about it. And she was rather indiscreet about the uh, sexual partners that she had and what she did, and she was rather fond of the camera too. <laughs> Shall we say? <laughs> so it made for rather flashy. Uh... That's right. I remember that. She's, she neglected to mention it in her autobiography. Oh. <laughs> she that's talked all around it. Oh, that's strange. And as I remember, I saw an interview with her, which actually was the interview that made me interested in her in the first place, because she was, had just put out this book, the autobiography, and I believe she was interviewed by maybe, uh, oh, what's his name, did everything, uh, Melvin Bragg, probably. And uh, he wanted, obviously, to talk about this little area of, of a hole in her uh, autobiography, and she very discreetly, but quite firmly, evaded any such questions. No. <laughs> they just did not, it just did not happen. Or, you know. They wouldn't be able to do that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>